You wouldn't benefit under your tax plan. No, I don't benefit. I don't benefit. You don't in think fact, more people benefit? In fact, very, very strongly, as you see, there's no, there's, I, I think there's very little benefit for people as well. I'm doing the right thing, and it's not good for me, believe me. This is going to cost me a fortune, this thing. Believe me. Believe me. This is not good for me. Donald Trump repeated that talking point over and over as he sold the ta Republican tax cut bill to the American people, despite every independent analysis of the bill showing it was not true, and despite refusing to prove it by releasing his tax returns like every other president. For her part, the White House press secretary dutifully repeated Trump's claim over and over again. The president did say that this tax cut bill would cost him a fortune. Uh, that was false, right? No, because uh, on the personal side, this actually could impact the president uh, in a large way. There are uh, a number of provisions that would negatively impact the president personally. Uh, and so we contend that those comments are still very consistent. OK, that was two days ago. So if that was the administration's position on Tuesday before the tax bill passed, surely it must still have been operative today, right? Sarah Huckabee Sanders was on Fox News today, and she was again asked if the tax cut bill would cost the president a fortune. But today, her answer changed. Look, the bottom line is a lot of people are going to do really well under this. The president's an American. This was a tax plan that was meant to benefit all Americans. So the White House finally seems to have admitted that Trump was lying when he said that he wouldn't benefit from the Republican tax cut bill. So just how much will the president of the United States benefit from the bill his party passed and that he's about to sign? Trump will pocket between 11 and 15 million dollars per year once the tax bill is enacted, according to a new analysis from the Center for American Progress. In addition, his son-in-law, Jared Kushner, will bank between five and 12 million dollars per year under the tax bill. And Trump's education secretary, Betsy DeVos, an heiress to the Amway fortune, will pocket approximately 2.7 million dollars per year. And there are even more goodies for Donald Trump and his platinum plated cabinet in the Republican tax bill, because with the reduction of the estate tax under the legislation, Donald Trump, Wilbur Ross, Linda McMahon, Betsy DeVos, Stephen Mnuchin and Rex Tillerson will each be able to pass on an additional four point five million dollars to their heirs tax free. Meanwhile, for the average American making less than $75,000 per year, which of course is most Americans, you will get around $18 a week in tax cuts next year. Don't spend it all in one place. And since your tax cuts are temporary, while the corporate tax cuts are permanent, after 2025, you will get a tax increase. You're welcome. And joining us now is David K. Johnston, a Pulitzer Prize winning journalist who founded DCReport.org and Jason Johnson, politics editor at TheRoot.com and an MSNBC contributor. David, I'm going to go to you first. Republicans are insisting that the $18 a week for Americans is real tax relief that is for the middle class. Is this a middle class tax cut bill? Well, majority of people in the middle class will get a few crumbs. Uh, wealthy people are going to get a cake, and people like Donald Trump and Wilbur Ross and Betsy DeVos are going to get the most fantastic, delicious, layered tax cut <laughs> cake you've ever seen. Um, and, and the idea that Donald Trump will pay more taxes under this is just as big a nonsense as many of the other things that he says. Uh, so on an individual level, and for people who own businesses like me, uh, boy, this tax bill is terrific, but for working people, not at all. And remember what you're going to see happen soon. Orrin Hatch said, you know, there just isn't money there for CHIP. Yeah. Well, if there isn't money for CHIP, pretty soon there won't be money for Social Security, for all sorts of other things, because it's clear the Republicans' agenda is the rich don't have enough and we have to get them more. Yeah. And, and you know, um, Jason, if you just look at what the Tax Policy Center put, you know, the chart that they put together that explains who gets what. If, if, look at the, if you look at this on the left, it's a little hard to understand, but on the left hand side of your screen is the average benefit from the tax bill, the actual dollar amount that people get. And as you can see, as it starts for people who make 10 to 20,000 a year, which you, where you can't even see it because they get right. about 10 bucks, and you go all the way up to people who make more than a million and they get about $69,000 a piece, right? So you see it gets bigger and bigger and bigger as you make more money. And then if you look at the percent change in your after tax income, this is what a lot of Republicans have been pushing back saying, no, 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 no. As a percentage, everybody gets the same. Well, as you can see, there's that big bulge over $500,000. The more money you make, the more percentage wise you get as well. How do Republicans possibly justify that as a middle class tax cut? 
Oh, oh, they don't, Joy, <laughs> because no. they're not they're not overly concerned about that. Remember, we have a president in the White House right now who told the American people during a debate, hey, I'm smart. I don't pay taxes. Right. So, I mean, if this is a guy who never paid taxes, we can't even believe anything that he would say about this policy one way or another. The Republicans have given up any attempt of claiming that this is a middle tax class, a middle class tax cut. They're saying that it's going to stimulate business. And the real problem is that for your average American, this is not going to give them enough extra income to start a business. For small business owners in America, and Joanne, I always think this is really important to say because the GOP keeps talking about it helps small businesses. As far as the federal government is concerned, a small business is anybody with less than 500 employees. So the guy who owns a tow truck company, he's not getting that much. He's only got five or six employees. So this is an absolute boondoggle for 2018. It is not going to help regular people except if you're really, really rich and you can hide that money unless you happen to be in a blue state, in which case you're going to get punished. Right. Absolutely. And just to put up for 2027, what happens when the normal people's tax cuts expire other than the corporate tax cuts? So you can see there the change in your after tax income for everybody who makes less than seventy five thousand dollars a year. Your income is going to go down. Well, look at the rich or just keep on er, uh, gaining. You know, David K. Johnston, the, the way that uh, the Republicans have been selling this bill is that they're saying, look at the companies now giving largesse to the little guy, uh, AT&T, Boeing, Comcast, which is the parent company of MSNBC, Fifth Third Bank Corp and Wells Fargo now saying they're going to either give bonuses or increase minimum wages as a result of this bill. Is that uh, the wonderful boom that it seems to be? No, it's not at all. First of all, many, most of these are one-time bonuses, and they're catching up to a market where they're having trouble getting people. And the corporate tax cuts, let me tell you how damaging they're going to be. We just put up at DC Report a very important story that everybody else missed. The benefit of the corporate tax cut is going to disappear because all around the world, other major countries, and we list about right. a dozen of them, already are moving to cut their tax rates. That makes it a zero-sum game in which the only winners are the executives and major investors in big companies. And how everybody missed this, and we broke the story, thanks to Jim, Jim Henry of DC Report tonight, uh, tells you a lot about how we're not properly covering this massive upward redistribution plan of the Republicans. Yeah, meaning that when, when we cut our corporate tax rate, other companies are just going to take it lying down. They're going to cut theirs, and it's going to be a race right. to the bottom. Last uh, word That's to you right. on this, Jason Johnson. Wells Fargo, who's, got, who's gotten a lot of good PR out of this gambit to raise minimum wages, they did the exact same thing in January. Notice this online. They did the exact same thing where they said, we're going to raise our minimum wages in January when that scandal about them doing fake accounts came out. So they, you do have companies having a history of using these marginal increases in wages right. for good PR. Yeah, what, what Wells Fargo is doing is akin to me saying, hey, Joy, David, I have a gift for you guys. Oh, wait, it happens to be Christmas. This was something people were going to do anyway. Wells Fargo was going to make these increases anyway. They're not a fundamental change in how the company operates. And at the end of the day, corporations don't hire more people because they're paying less taxes. They only hire more people when more people are buying. And if the middle class does not get a real tax cut and they don't get one with this bill, they're not going to buy more and it's not going to end up with more hiring at Wells Fargo, Amazon or anybody else. There we go. AT&T right AT is helping themselves out, too, because they got some Justice Department issues, and it's all good PR. <laughs> David K. Johnston uh, and Jason Johnson. Johnston and Johnson. Thank you very much. We appreciate you guys coming on. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.